Arizona's bench is really, I think, the advantage that it has over every team that it's going to play against. Because Arizona brings in two nuclear weapons off the bench. Jaden Bradley is obviously a difference maker, a game changer. And then you've also got you've also got uh, uh, KJ Lewis, who should have been a five star kid. Wasn't rated that, wasn't rated properly, but we will take him. Finishes in transition, finishes around the hoop, comes in, and we've got to give Mo Crevis some love. Mo Crevis has been has been effective in both games. Arizona's got a three-man rotate or a three-man rotation, maybe a two and a half man rotation that really changes the game when they come in there, Jason Shear. And it's important to like Clemson, for instance, because we want to talk about Clemson. They don't have a guard off the bench. Right. They, they've they got uh, Hunter, who, like, if, if the other Hunter, his brother, I think, actually. Um, but, like, if if one of the guys get in foul trouble, they've got no guard off the bench. None. Right. Um, they play two forwards and Dylan Hunter for, like, two minutes a game. Arizona, right. let's say Boswell's playing poorly or foul trouble, you could put Jaden Bradley in, and there's no drop-off, and I know that you're going to say it's an improvement, which is fine. Uh, K.J. Lewis is better than mo- like anything that Clemson has coming off the bench. And right. it is important in March. Having big men off the bench is cool and all, but you want guards. Right. Like You want guards off the bench this time of year because if, if you don't have a backup guard, Hunter played 39 minutes against Baylor. Right. Yeah, I mean, and see, and see, that's the thing. Going in, going into Clemson though, Clemson plays guys that, that you know, Clemson brings in guys off the bench, but nobody liked that. Again, Clemson is a fairly deep team, but it's not the difference makers that air that air, uh, Arizona brings in off the bench. They're seven deep. Chauncey Wiggins, people are like, oh, he's a six ten small forward, but he only averages five points and two rebounds a game, and he's six ten and he shoots threes. If you want to shoot threes and you're six ten, unless you're in the NBA and like Kevin Durant or whatever, whatever, right? Like that's right. fine. And then RJ Godfrey is solid, six points, three rebounds, but he, they don't have real depth. They have guys that'll give other guys rest, but it's not real depth. I think Arizona right. has guys where we saw Jaden Bradley literally change the Dathan game. Clemson doesn't have a guy like that off the bench. Well, you know, the, and, and the thing about it too is that Arizona, the guys that they bring in, they can, they can, they can benefit the team. They just yes. don't kind of just, you know, steal minutes, steal a couple minutes here or there. They can 1000% benefit the team. And I think that's where it's different, where you're not just trying to slide by with the starters. You're like, it's like with Jaden Bradley, we could ride Jaden Bradley for 15, 20 minutes here. We could ride KJ Lewis for 15 to 20 minutes. That's the difference here. Right. Like a lot of teams in college, you're, you're, you're like, you're putting them in the game to kind of give your other guy a rest, right? Like right. that's what we've seen. Um, you know, UConn is different. Obviously, Houston isn't that much different. Like, just teams that we've seen. Arizona's putting him in to change the game. Like, right. hey, KJ, go in and make a play. Jaden, you're going to handle point for the next 20 right. minutes. Like, they're difference makers. <laughs>